Uh, hi, Sambit. My name is Pranav, and uh, I'm like 18 years old and coming to Netherlands for my studies in computer science and engineering in the University of Twente. Uh, I'm going to do my bachelor's there, and I have some few questions to ask. So, can I ask? Like, can I begin with my questions? Yeah, uh, just one thing. The you have already got admit in Twente, or you're going to apply for bachelor's? I got like final admission from uh, University of Twente for bachelor's in computer science and engineering, and uh, I got a final admission from TU Eindhoven for electrical engineering. But I am going for computer science and engineering at University ah, okay. of Twente. Uh, like, uh, how should I make connections when I'm, you know, studying like networking and connections with people, mm -hmm. employers, and you know, just go, going yeah. to career fest? How should I do that? Like. Can you just give me a bit of a blueprint about that? Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. So you, if you have seen the video, you might have heard about the career fair. Obviously, yes, yes, it yes. It happens uh, only once in a year, and it happens in every university. And they also have some other programs. Nesso, I think. I'm not sure. Nesso okay. is like a uh, Nesso Newfic. Is it? That? Yeah, 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 yeah. So it's okay. like a tie up between. They have tie up with different countries like okay that. yes i've seen that yes yeah so they organize many things also in india and also here some kind of fairs in rotterdam or amsterdam and different places mm -hmm. but i mean this regarding that uh, the best thing they always advise for the job is like one is starting the search very early and for making connections the best thing is linkedin i mean linkedin will help you in both okay also for the because always you are not sure you are not traveling every place or i mean you have some contact with external parties but it's very limited when you start mm -hmm. a bachelor so yes i understand through linkedin you can initially build something like some connections i mean initially take some time but depending on your field when you search mm -hmm. for those type of persons like the same research interest or maybe this particular company or particular region you can search using the filters and Okay. That's the best start. I mean, if you start with LinkedIn and then you know some people and maybe if you find some people who are nearby and then just send a message and maybe if you send message to 50 people to meet mm -hmm. or just to discuss about the future, with them, maybe one will only reply or someone might not reply, but that is a very slow process. But LinkedIn is the best thing to start initially. And then mm -hmm. these career fairs and these kind of things you can do, which happens only once or twice in a year. Okay, that's that's very good to know, Sambit. Thank you. And the yeah, next question is, like... I mean, LinkedIn, mm -hmm. anything you can do, job, PhD, any type of mm -hmm. content. And once you have that network, then it helps a lot. I mean, once. Okay, and uh, my next question was that, like, how big is the language barrier in computer science yeah, and engineering? Actually, I want to ask you that question because you said you are mm -hmm. coming to Twente, so the whole yes. best program is it in English or there's partially Dutch? English, part English. Oh, okay. in, completely in English. That's nice. Because, I mean, when I came in... Even in TU Delft, it's in English. Like, it's yeah, maybe, English. maybe they have made it now because in 2015, September, when I came to Netherlands, mm -hmm. it was not... Uh, in I English, mean, yeah. Yeah, it was not completely English. They had some partial, but maybe because now they're seeing the international opportunities and many people are interested also to different universities in Netherlands. So, mm -hmm. maybe that's why they have done it that's good i mean for getting a job language is not a barrier obviously it's not a barrier i mean if you i don't know if you've seen but in quora i give answers to many people on these topics like the language and difficulty of finishing a master's and these kind of things so there i have answered one question regarding the this language and uh, I mean, language is never a barrier. I, the only thing is that some people feel isolated, like they've stayed for three, four years, or they are going uh, to yes. ten more years. That's, that's so true. That's true. Uh -huh. The society they learn the language, and otherwise, for getting a job and doing these kind of things, it's I mean, zero. You okay. need zero. There is zero problem of language. I mean, in even in our career fairs, there are some companies like they needed some level of Dutch. Okay. There are some companies, not like everyone has only English, mm -hmm. but uh, I mean, those are very limited. Like mostly, uh, even in startups, which are rising mm -hmm. now, uh, this generation, it's 
almost they don't prefer the Dutch language better. The English is fine. And if you are in a multinational company, maybe like Philips or Deloitte or uh, okay. these kind yeah. of companies, also the language is not the issue. So it's very rarely one or two companies you will find. But for CS mostly, that is also like those are I have seen mostly like 3ME or something. But for CS, it's I mean overall it's not a problem the getting okay. job and things. But is it like but uh, I think should that for okay. like bachelor's and masters uh, by that time by hearing you will i mean even i never paid that much attention to grasping the language because it was never required but yes. uh, like i can speak intermediate german like i can speak uh, intermediate german i'm learning german here right now before coming to but uh, okay. i was yeah, uh, I, was learning, yeah yes. I mean that's a very it's like a very tricky question because I have seen people who come from Germany. Mm -hmm. I mean, they did their master's in Germany and they are doing PhD in Netherlands. Mm -hmm. So everyone says that German and Dutch are very same, but <laughs> okay. uh, they have a lot of, I mean, if you are a non-German German speaker, like a non-native German speaker, and then you yeah. start learning Dutch, then it might be not that easy as you hear from everyone. Like, okay, but I think should I learn like I have like five years, should I try to learn Dutch? Is it good? Yeah, yeah. I mean, if because you are staying so long, so by the time you finish bachelor's, I think you can, if you do very lightly, like uh, you will find many campus courses which will be free, like yes yes but they always teach mm -hmm. that because they also want the talent to know their language because you don't never know right like um, you see what is happening in us i mean it's not that bad but still mm -hmm. uh, you never know like maybe after five six years they might also have over explosion of like income yes, and they start uh -huh. certain strict rules and if you mm -hmm. are really interested to stay here then it's always good like, to know that oh. For a future consequences. Okay, that thank you. That was a really nice information. And uh, the next question I.